welcome to a brand new podcast. As as usual, this is the Oracle 19. And my name is Mr. Greatness. If you want to put your business on this platform, you can email us at evolutionoflondon at gmail.com if you want to put your business on this platform. Definitely uh, email us and someone definitely will uh, get back to you and set that up for you. So that's evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. Also, if you want to send a little token of your appreciation for this content through our PayPal account evolutionoflondon at gmail.com same email definitely we will appreciate that as we continue to expand expand worldwide want to give a special shout out to Turkey the country Turkey that is listening to us and thank you and if you want to put your business on this platform if you want to do that show some love show some show some love sharing is caring evolution at gmail.com even if you want to send a an email out about the content. So again, through our PayPal account, you got the email for donations. And if you want to put your business on this platform, same thing. So again, you can definitely show a lot of love with that. And we look forward to uh, hearing from you. You can shop online to our baby shopping mall, which is www.evolutionoflondon.com for we have a lot of stuff I even was uh, checking it out more cologne, more perfume came in going towards for the summer slash spring we have jewelry men's, kids, ladies clothes house, more house products Evolution of London Dot com. Also check out evolutionoflondon.org O-R-G There you'll find custom clothes, accessories and digital products such as ebooks for personal as well as business use and finally evolutionoflondon.store S-T-O-R-E You'll find lotions, soaps, games more clothes so evolutionoflondon.store we have different links to other affiliates. www.linktree.com forward slash evolution of London. So you, if for any links you want to check us out on, linktree.com forward slash evolution of London. And as well, we do have a Patreon channel, which we have videos that is not posted on YouTube, digital artwork, and we do consulting services as well. That's www.patreon.com forward slash evolution of London. Check out the company Royalty 9 International. They make homemade candles, 100% soy wax, 12 ounce jars from scented to unscented. Now the scented candles is from frankincense, myrrh, jasmine, Vanilla, rose, peppermint, eucalyptus, just to name a few. So, definitely show your support. If you want to place an order, email the company at royalty9international at gmail.com. And also, you can find them on social media, Instagram and TikTok, royalty9international. For your luxury candles... Definitely over 35 plus burning time. Very good quality. I definitely have quite a few myself. So again, Royalty 9 International. Mr. Will, he's been a fitness consultant for over 15 years. So if you want to book a consultation, you can email him at 
health fitness consultant one at gmail.com again that's health fitness consultant one at gmail.com and you can support his merch www.wjaaccessories.com for custom clothes accessories and digital products as well DJ Panthro international DJ one of the best DJs in southwestern Ontario so if you want to book for him to come to your venue you can email him at DJ Panthro P-A-N-T-H-R-O 519 at gmail.com that's DJ Panthro 519 at gmail.com and you can also follow him on social media that's YouTube DJ Panthro 519 like subscribe and share and also Instagram and TikTok that's DJ Panthro, and he's, his bonus platform on TikTok is The Real DJ Panthro. That's, again, The, D-A, The Real DJ Panthro, and that's on Tickety Talk, a.k.a. TikTok. Music, music. Cheap Limousine channel on YouTube. He have a whole wide range of different beats. So once you go to his YouTube platform, you will see his other social media sites. So like, subscribe, and share to Cheap Limousine Channel on YouTube. And Continue to Train on YouTube is the Greatness 19 channel. Now the Greatness 19 channel is our educational channel to open up your third eye. We definitely need your guys to like and subscribe to Greatness 19 channel and pass the information worldwide on your platform and if you scroll down on the greatness 19 page you will see mr evolution of london subscribe to that as well that's our health and wellness channel so i will be looking forward to your guys subscribing to that as well very good content on the our health and wellness channel which is mr evolution of london Now the, Hor the Oracle 19 is on all major platforms. We're on iHeartRadio, Google, Apple, Spotify, Spotify for podcasters, Amazon Music, just to name a few. So any information I haven't mentioned will be in the description box of the Oracle 19 podcast, the Greatness 19 channel, Mr. Evolution of London, both of those on YouTube, Rumble.com, can't forget that, Rumble.com, Rumble.com, just type in the Oracle 19, and finally, www.theoracle19radio.com. Finally, check out Cindy's Place, Cindy's Place, has, she has custom clothes, accessories, and digital products as well. Her website is www.cindysplace.org. Again, that's www.cindysplace.org. Okay, well, we got the business aspect of things out the way, as usual. Today, we're going to talk about being petty. Being petty. Yes, um, it was brought to my attention. You know, one thing in life, I don't like petty people personally. Petty people personally. Uh, especially if it don't warrant that. And a lot of times, you know, if it, especially if it doesn't warrant being petty, but sometimes people will take you to a, a, a place where you have to, well, not all people get on that, but I can get on that, that uh, being petty, because sometimes you got to let people know, they, and especially you find when you're working with people, but 
just in life, uh, you could have family, friends, or foe that is petty. Little things that shouldn't even be discussed. And I'm speaking of family first. And, you know, they bring up certain things that really doesn't warrant you to, uh, you know, for that to be petty. But some people are not on that level. And me personally, you know, I can get petty. You know, I when people, I can get on the same level as people. You know, I if, you know, wherever they want to take it, I can take that. And I don't know if that applies to y'all guys. I don't know if you're about that life. I know I can be about that. Well, not not can be. I am about that life. I can get on those those petty levels. And um, I'll give you an example. Some things warrant not being, uh, you know, petty. Um, let's say, for example, you have a, you know, spouse... And he or she, let's say you have, you was cooking some, and this is not applying to me, I'm just speaking in general. Let's say Frank's and Frank and Beans on the stove. And, you know, you, you, you cook the food, and this goes man or woman. You cook the food, and you just, you forgot to put the lid over it. It's done. You forgot to put the lid over it. You went into the next room, you know, you you had to take care of something, whatever. But your spouse makes a big deal about why you didn't cover the pot. I mean, there's maybe talking about it, but then it'd be obsessive, like, you know, making a big deal, arguing with you why you didn't you know, put the pot, cover the pot, and, and you know, it, it could... Instead of it being just about a 10-second conversation, your spouse just ramble on and on and on about that. And maybe that was just the first time you ever done that. That's being petty. That's being petty. You know, that's something that is not warranted to be rambled on over and over about why you didn't cover the pot on the stove, you know, cover the food. Instead of just making it a 10 minute, a 10 second conversation, it becomes, uh, a, you know, a 10 minutes, 15 minutes of, of arguing. That's, that's being petty, in my opinion. And people can be that way, you know, just unnecessarily, just petty. That's just example one in the house. And it could be other things that goes on in the house that you maybe can relate to that warrants, that doesn't warrant the the arguments, you know, just the back and forth, you know, just uh, why you didn't do this or why you didn't, why you didn't do that, you know, it's just unnecessary, petty, just petty, and some people, they own that, they own that pettiness, so that's my question, you know, from me to you, why, why? Now, we're going to get deeper in the conversation. I'm just warming up, you know. I, I'm just warming up with uh, the petty, the line of petty. And you might have that again with family, friends, or foe in your house. That just might just be on that petty. Again, very, very unnecessary. So is this uh, something that you you have to go through? Is this something that you dealing with in your household, petty, and how to deal with it? Not not everybody, let's say, is like I would say, like myself, or some people just can just uh, overlook that. But then 
some people just can't. I, I shouldn't say I, I, I can sometimes overlook their pettiness. Sometimes it depends what it is. Now you also get see pettiness within, let's say, uh, you know, at school or something where. And, and now you're dealing with the public, you know, the public and when you're dealing with school or work, you're, you might get a, a teacher that might be petty, you know, as well to you as a student because of your grades. Um, she might, you know, take a, you know, you might have an exam and let's say, for example, the, the passing grade was, let's say, a 70. You know, she, you had like a, you really had like a 71, but just because, and this was maybe an English class, but you forgot the period at the end of the sentence, so she, she takes two points off. Now you got a 69. And you're like, wait a minute. You know, okay, I missed the period in the on the end of the sentence, but did that really warrant you to knock off two points? I, I was passing with a 71, now I got a 69. Hey teacher, did that really was that really necessary? Did you really have to knock down two points to get me down to a 69? In my opinion, that's a little petty. It didn't have to be two points. Why can't it be just one point? Still pass with a 70. That's petty. You know, that's, that's petty. You know, that, that's something that really, um, that's, that was unnecessary. But that's a line of petty that people can be on. That's irritating to me. The, again, giving you these examples, pettiness, these, these little things in, with, with petty. And this was brought to my attention as well. Example that a family member had to go through on the job. Oh, we all know on the job pettiness with, uh, you know, with supervisors and management and employees. This was brought to my attention about the level of pettiness. People being a minute late, two minutes late, Now, yeah, he told me that about the job. But I'm going to just say this. A minute, he was a minute, literally one minute late to be on the floor. And then they, they think about what docking him, dock his pay or, what was he, or they, they basically warn him or, Give him a, a written letter. That's a fag move. Pause. Cigarette. That's a real faggish move. Faggish. A faggish move. Pause. I mean, petty. And I was just saying, for me personally, if I was... If I was at the job, it ain't shit nobody could say anything to me. Lines are petty, and you find this with a lot of companies, you know, a lot of jobs. They petty. The people is petty. 
or one minute, two minutes. That's more of a personal move more than anything else. That's real dumb. And I, I know different jobs. My man Carlito talk about different different companies or the companies he work with. They they on that little stupid faggish move. Paul cigarette. It's just stupid stuff. Real dumb stuff. You know that that's personal. You minute late, two minutes. And you got to get written notice and written letters and dock of pay and all that. And then the people come right around and want to say hi to you. Fuck out of here. You want to say hi and, and you want to be your friend and want to, you know, now they want to double down. Yo, fuck a friend, man. I got that story, man, what was told to me. I'm like, fuck a friend, man. You suck my mm -mm. paws. Fuck out of here. You want to be my goddamn friend, want to talk about the moon and the stars and, and, and the lights and, and, and you know, the, what, what's going on in politics after you basically docking the man's pay or giving him a written letter. Now you want to be his fucking friend, man. Fuck out of here, man. Oh, man, kiss my ass, man. Kiss my ass. That's petty. And you find this within the jobs, especially. Levels of pettiness. You know, companies, you know, these people out here, especially in the dominant society, they it's amazing. They could just write you up, diss you, talk about you, talk about your mammy, your grandmammy, you and everything, to talk about you like a fucking dog and turn around and like, hi, how you doing? Yo, you shouldn't, and you don't say shit to me. Don't say a goddamn thing to me, man. You, you dissing me, you disrespecting me, you saying all different types of slick shit, and then you turn around and you want to be my fucking friend? You want to talk about the moon and the stars and how things lighten, lighten up? How, thing, how, the thing, how the lights turn on and, and what goes on in my world and stuff? What the hell? Yo, man, these guys, these guys is funny style at, at these jobs. My man Carlito said this all the time, man, and... and my brother and, and a lot of family members say this all the time about how, yo, man, people could turn right around and want to be your friend. They could disrespect you, talk to you, talk about you like a dog, but turn right around and say, hey, how you doing? Uh, how's the weather? You fucking suspending me. What the fuck you talking about how the weather is? The weather could be nice if you just leave me the fuck alone. You trying to eat your food at the job? People like, oh, hey, man, do you want me? Do you want me to get a fork for you? No, motherfucker, you just suspended me. What the fuck you want to talk about? You just suspended me. But you want to talk and, hey, how you doing? I hope everything is well. How you feeling? No, motherfucker, you just gave me a written notice. What the fuck we need to talk about for? What we need to talk about? So you, how's, how you doing? Do, how's your cold? My, maybe I should sneeze on you so you can have a cold, bitch. Maybe I should blow my disease on you so you could be out for three weeks so I don't see your funky ass bitch. Petty. Petty. See, this is, this is, and the jobs is so, it's a cesspool for snakes. A cesspool for snakes. 
My homie talk about this all the time. Family members talk to me about this all the time. People could, they, they, management and supervisors and, and co-workers could talk about you like a dog. Literally like a dog. And then they turn around, want to smile, smile at you. Give you, you know, little, little conversations. Oh, nice weather. I don't need to hear it from you, ho. And that's not a female thing necessarily. I mean, dudes too act like little hoes. The mad disrespectfulness of the job. And when they go home, they talk about you like a dog. They got so many different disrespectful words for you when you're at the job, but yet and still they want to be petty. Lucky, lucky it's not me. I can get petty. Very petty. Y'all guys better watch your back. If you, if you docking people for being late, you better be not late yourself. <laughs> it's you being recorded too. If I'm not late, you better not be late. Bitch. Because if you late, you want to report, you could get reported too. I could get very petty. Very, very petty. Any level you do to me, it could be done to you. You better watch your back, bitch. You could get written up too, bitch. I see you, bitch, for real, for real. Sometimes y'all guys got to get on different levels at the job, man, to let you let people know. It's, it's, don't get comfortable. If I'm not comfortable, you better not be comfortable. Don't get comfortable. I'm watching you too. Because sometimes they get they they. It's all this little tickety tack stuff, unnecessary. Because they don't like you. Cool. I talk to my family members about that and, and friends when they talk to me about certain things. But if it's me, for real, for real, if I was at one of these jobs and, and you write me up, watch your back. You better not even sneeze. If you drop a tissue on the ground, <laughs> you're going to be written up. If you late, you're going to be written up because everybody has a boss. Everybody has a boss. So if you want to make my life interesting, I can make your life very interesting too. For real, for real. That's petty. That's the pettiness I can get on. You don't think you comfortable. If I'm not comfortable, you not comfortable. Just keep that in mind. Lucky I ain't at these jobs. Lucky. Lucky. That's the level you need to get on with these jobs, man. Because sometimes these people, it's not business. It's personal when they write you up. When there's a minute, two minutes, it becomes personal. It becomes personal. It's not. There's no way in the world you say that's just business. That's personal. That's, that, that's real personal. And, and how you deal with individuals like that, give them the dose of their own medicine. And you don't even have to say, you don't, hey, you don't have to say anything. Just watch. Because we human beings, we gonna slip up. 
And when you slip up, I'm right on you. Pause. And that's how you need to be at jobs. When you have co-workers, management, whoever that want to be petty with you, you be petty with them. No, no, we're not going to forget. I take this like war. You want to you wanna defame my character, you want to disrespect me, you want to talk about me, and you want to be petty, and you think I'm just going to turn around and I'm just going to be smiling and we have a conversation and we be just kumbaya and everything is cool. We could talk about the moon and the stars and I'm going to smile at you. Cool. I, I know how to get on that temperature too. Just like I could look at you dead in your face with smiling, but I could definitely set you up. That's the level of petty I can get on. And that's the level of petty I will get on if I had to. And you know, even beyond the job, even life, you got people that, you know, uh, wait, your exes and all of that or whoever want to get petty with you and um, man or woman and they disrespect you and they um, how should I say they they want to diss you and talk about you well guess what bitch I could wait five years I could even wait ten years and still snipe you not literally like a, a weapon but snipe you where I could make life miserable for you bitch because I'm petty, for real, for real. I'm just speaking, this is just hypothetical, okay? This is, this is not any particular person. Because I don't want people to all be tripping and thinking he's going to cause violence and all of this stuff. No, I'm not about the violence. I don't got time to be violent with you. But we just talking hypothetically, you know, if, if, if the pettiness in me, I could be on different levels. We could take the pettiness in different levels. I could wait five, ten years and still be petty with you. If I feel like it. Depends how bad the situation was, how much anguish you caused me. Watch your back, bitch. And that goes for man and woman, so when I use that word. But I'm just saying the level of pettiness that I can get on. So you thinking it's over after a year? You thinking that you did all of that bodily harm to me and all that disrespect? I'm speaking in relationships here. After a year, you talked about me like a dog. You insulted my family. You, you took me to court or whatever. And you thinking after a year, it's over? I'm speaking again hypotheticals for people that have gotten that in certain situations. Not This is not me. I have to give that disclosure because, you know, a lot of people will say thinking is, is me talking. We just talking generalities right here, hypotheticals right here other people what they go through so let's be clear so after a year you took me a court and after you you kept the kids away from me or whatever and you thinking now we could be friends and we could sit down and drink uh tea together and all no 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 we just we just begun war we just begun war bitch i see you even after five years my pettiness runs high. Can smile with you and say hi to you. But in the back of my mind, I'm trying to figure out how can I get you? How can I get you? Because my pettiness runs high. Yeah, you did something to me. You disrespected me. You talked about me like a dog. 
it's 10 years and I'm still waiting to get you back because I'm petty like that. For real, for real. Bitch, I must get you. Because we at war. Once I, once I declare war, it is war. From the rootin' to the tootin'. And I won't be satisfied to my petty niggas and cheat. Little or small. I'm thinking in the mindset of people that have this pettiness in them. Not particularly, this had nothing to do with me. Have to give that disclosure. Being petty. Levels of pettiness. Y'all guys better be careful who y'all dealing with. Because you got people that don't forget. And even after 5, 10, 15 years, if they feel they need to cash that pettiness in, they're going to cash that pettiness in. And I can be petty. Depends what the situation warrants. Some things warrant to ignore it, but you would never know if I decide to not want to cash it in or not because I ain't going to tell you. I'll smile with you. I'll talk to you. But you don't know the level of pettiness I can get down. I didn't tell you it's over. I might have told you I'm not mad. He's not mad. We not mad. But doesn't mean I ain't going to get petty with you. I doesn't mean I'm not going to cash it in. For real, for real. Fuck around if you want. You find out how petty I can. Petty with the pen. Petty however you want to take it. In a non-violent way, of course. Non-violent way, of course. Gotta give that disclosure because first thing people will say, oh, you're you're gonna get violent. No. Non-violent way. But still will be petty. So you better be careful who you want to get petty with. You get petty with an individual, then you want to talk about you talk to that person the next day and ask about the sun, moon, and the stars and how they doing. <coughs> Excuse me. Your next door neighbor reports you to the police. And then they want to turn around the next day and ask you, so how's your lawn care doing? How's the grass going? Is it looking good? But you just reported that your, your next door neighbor the night before. And you thinking pettiness won't be put upon you you thinking all the thing all of a sudden things are sweet shit is sweet and I'm going we're going to conversate and we're going to be close all of a sudden I supposed to have forgotten the situation who said you said we just started the pettiness you report me I'm going to report you You better not litter on the city street because I'm going to call the city on you, bitch. And that's male or female when I use that word. You better not spit on the ground. You spit on the ground, I'm going to take a picture and I send it to the city or send it to the police. That's a charge. You spitting on the ground. You littering on the ground. That's a fine. Yeah, that's petty. But you did a you did a crime, right? You did a violation, right? You did do it. You did spit on the ground. You did you did litter on the ground. That's a fine. You committed an act, unlawful act. Well, that's pity. That's that's petty, Mr. Greatest. But no, you did it. I could get petty too. You wanted to call the 
you know, the law on me because you just see me talking maybe too loud. And this never happened to me, but I'm just giving you an example. The level of penny, pettiness that I could get on. You report me, I could report you too. You better not do a crime. You better not, you not, you better not do no violations. Because if I see it, I'm going to report it and I'm going to tell on you. I'm going to tell, tell, tell. Because I'm going to be petty. It's like you was petty with me. So we could get on the petty. We could get on, we could get on the petty. You want to be petty? You want to be very petty? We could get on the petty. I, I have no problem being petty. I like pettiness sometimes. It keeps me sharp. It's, it's war season. So when I, I take it as war. You want to battle? Sometimes battling is good. It's a good thing for me. It keeps me sharp. Sharpen up my mental sword. Knowing who my enemies are. Okay, I see that. I see how. I see that bitch on that time. Okay. Oh, so I know what. I know the level I'm on. I know. On, and when I use that terminology, I'm talking about men and women. So don't trip. It's not a woman thing, and it's a men, it's, it's a people thing. When I use that terminology, because I get a little charged up on the on topics like this because people I know is petty. You want to be petty? We could get petty. I love getting petty sometimes because it, like I told you, keeps me razor sharp. I know who my, oh, you petty, oh, 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 you, you so you want to get petty with me, oh, okay, no problem, ooh, delicious, this is delicious, oh, you, you, so you want to tattletale on me, ooh, so you want to suspend me, ooh, so you want to call the law on me, ooh. So you want to call the city on me, ooh. Ooh, you want to be petty on me, ooh. Okay, ooh. No problem. No problem, all right. Oh, this is good. We, all right, so you want to get rough? You want to get rough? Okay, okay, let's go. You want, so you want to play? You want to get rough? That's how I look at it. I get Tony Mentano on you. Oh, so you want to play, eh? You want to play? Oh, yeah, so you, you would. You, so you want to get rough? Okay, let's get rough. Pause. Yeah, you... Yeah, you you want to you you want to you want to get petty with me. That goes to anybody, family, friends, or foe. You want to get petty with me? Just know the level of pettiness with me runs high too, depending on if I feel is warranted. Some things I might just turn the other cheek because it's not warranted in my life. I don't have time. But some things when you're trying to defame my character, defame me, you know, no. No, I, I, I have a way of getting back at you. I could get on the same time as you. You write me, I write you. You talk about me, I could talk about you. You defame my character, I could defame your character. Yeah, that's, that's justice with me. You want to battle, we could battle. This is war. Non-negotiable. So, just watch your back, bitch. Bitches, and I say that for y'all guys too. When you have people that's petty, you got to get on their time. They only respect that when they know the fear can be the reversal too. That's when they know. And the thing about it, the beautiful thing about it, you won't know when I will get petty and cash in my pettiness on you. Because it could be months, it could be years, it could be whatever. I could be around you. I could be away from you. I, 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 it depends how I feel. But I will cash it in. You could bet on that, large or small, and you will never know. You will never know. Unless I really want you to know. Oh, Mr. Greatness, that's evil. Well, the, you started the evilness by being petty with me. When you decided to want to be petty with me 
you already started the war. I'm a different type of person you're dealing with. That's why people, you got to be careful and respect who you're dealing with because you never know who they are. And you never know how far they want to take it. I could take it however you want to take it. That's the level I'm on. And as I get older, I don't give a fuck anymore anyway. Because I look at it like this. I've been on this planet Earth anyway for a certain time. I pretty much accomplished, accomplished most of the things I did in life and the little things I haven't accomplished. It could, it could come and go with me. It doesn't matter. Because I lived, I lived a decent life, whatever. So I don't give a flying fuck anyway. So there's nothing that you can do to me that I can't do to you. I got no marbles sometimes any fucking way. So whatever, whatever fucking ever, wherever you want to take it, bitch. Whatever fucking ever you want to take it. It doesn't matter to me. It really don't. Being petty. Do you like petty people? What do you think? Do you think I'm over the top? Probably. I'm a thinker, so I calculate. It could be some people, some people would say it could be that type of thinker could be a person's worst enemy because they think. And I'm not gonna go over the top and do some, you know, just crazy. I'm gonna think it out. Being petty. So just be careful, guys, who you're dealing with, you know, and that goes anywhere. I, I, me, that's why I respect people. I, I try to re my best to respect people and stay in my lane and not bother anyone and not disrespect people. And if I was disrespectful, I, I try to apologize and, and er erect the wrongs and stuff because especially at this stage in life, because you never know who you're dealing with. And that person could be petty to you for life. For you doing something to them, they could, they could make your life a living hell. All because you were being petty with them. They didn't bother you. They didn't cause no problems. But you just didn't like whatever they did. And you just wanted to be petty. So now you got a person that is now your mortal enemy. A mortal enemy with a smile on their face. A mortal enemy that even will speak to you and greet you every day. See, I could get on any level a person can uh, get on. I could, l l I could talk to you and, s and smirk with you and smile with you, and I still hate your guts. Just like you can do it to me. I learned that from the art of dealing with the dominant society. Thank you. they the type of people that can do the same thing. And I learned to adjust living here in this thing in North America. So I learned to adjust doing just like how they do. And I could be their worst enemy too because I could talk to you with a smile on the face and not give two flying fucks about you just like you don't give a flying fuck about me. Let's be petty. Thank you for listening.